Park. Okay. So I would like to call the New Britain Township Parks and Recreation Board to meeting. Um, I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Meeting commences. First up on our agenda, we have the approval of minutes from March 19th, 2024. Did everyone get a chance to review the minutes from March? Mm -hmm. Did. I'll make the motion to approve the minute. Minutes as written. I second it. Second. Okay. Any opposed? No. All in favor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Oh, motion carries to approve the minutes. Uh, second up on the list, we have our recap of the Easter egg hunt event. Well, we're both there, but it went pretty well. Yeah. Um, we were able to get about $82 in cash for the food pantry and about 100 pounds of food. Okay. Um, all in all, I think, what would you figure about 60 people, 60 kids around about? Probably, uh, yeah. Most of the eggs were given away. Whatever we had left over, we donated it to Windmill Day Camp. Good. Um, That's nice. I know we had talked about reinstating the rain date. Is that something that we would still want well, to do? I would, I would suggest yes, um, but our event coordinator has not started yet. Okay. So, so when is Sue going to start? You know, I, have, I reached out. I haven't heard. I think within a, next week or two. I'm not oh, 100% no. sure. I haven't heard a, a, a specific date. Will she be attending our meetings? I haven't. Like I haven't got confirmation on that either. So she was on the veterans committee with us. So oh, she nice. she she knows what's going on in the township. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah, because I was just curious, like. They have, um, in Percocet, they had an Easter egg hunt that was like rain or shine. And it was right. at some church. And like, you literally go out in your boots and your umbrellas or whatever. And then I know Jamison, once theirs didn't go through because of the rain, they had the drive up. So they had the Easter bunny under a tent or like a tarp outside. And they just handed out plastic bags full of eggs as like the car line drove by. And I thought, well, that's neat. And then um, yeah. I know Warminster, they had their rain date and it rained on the rain date. Oh. So they like, ended up never having it at all. Well, that happened to us the year before. And it rained on both dates we had it. So. Okay. And so I, we moved it inside. So. Yeah. So I was like wow. curious what to do. Because I know like for the older kids, it's not as fun because they like to like run and grab the yeah. eggs. Oh, well, there's but no I comparison. Know that, there's no comparison. No, for sure. Yeah. But oh. I know the families that do come are super appreciative. And it's usually much younger children yeah, who get to sit with the bunny and they get to play with the eggs like a sand pit. So it's like, you know, what's the best thing to I do? I would to... say maybe we we have a rain date. And if the Easter egg hunt on the second date gets rained out, then we bring it inside. Yeah, like we did the year Yeah, because I think that's... So we do... I think well, that's I a good say idea. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Prior to the egg event next year when we have a board paper here. Yeah. And we can start to contact. If we strike out the second, the, the, if we strike out on the rain date, yeah. then we do it inside. What I do you guys think? The only problem with that that's... is just, you have to make, we have to make that, well, we have to do it like we did before. We have to make this decision on what we're saying. Yeah. Set up. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think. No big deal. I mean, that's Because we got three, 300, 400 people outside at these Easter egg hunts. Yeah. So going down from 400 to 60. Yeah. Well, at least we at least we had were able to have yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. That's the thing. We can't because the like, family so that do we come all our it. events outdoors, and unfortunately, we can't control them. Yeah. We're pretty fortunate, I would say. Yeah, and I think I liked. I mean, it's not as as convenient as it was to like drive by and grab like the eggs mm -hmm. from the the tent outside. It's just nice if we have this forum. You know, the kids take off their jackets and then they get to they get to play and, and they they hang around for it was something to do on a Saturday. Yeah. So I think that's nice. Yeah, on a miserable Saturday. Yeah, for sure. So, and as long as they have their picture taken with the Easter yeah, bunny. I think that's a big thing too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's nice. I, I do like having the option of inside. It's just you know, you just don't get the turn. Yeah, it's just less Yeah. Can you help? No, I'm sure. Yeah, and then um, is the issue resolved as long as we have a fan? The Easter Bunny is okay. It's, I think he had two at the feet. Yeah, and he was already. Right. Yeah, okay. Because I know that that was. Was he ready to pass out? Yeah, yeah. He, sat, he sat. He came out, sat down for about 
Maybe ten minutes. Not even at all. Get off yeah, and that's the same degree. scenario Ooh. as last time. Yeah, so, so as long as the fans, fans are there underneath his at his feet, blowing the air up up into the wow. into his yeah, he was able to ventilate better. Okay, good. So is it is that um is that up to Sue to make that call I or at least get her? Well, it would be up to supervisors to make that call. Okay. Um, we could just. I don't even know. I think we just put the brain date back in. I don't even know if the supervisor has to call. I it. guess we could we could make a motion today, and then. What do we do it next year? We could do it now we, while it's fresh. We know one year that we just decided yeah. not to do the rain day. That was basically yeah. our previous event coordinator just said we're just not going to we're just going to do one day. Yeah, I don't think it was it wasn't even voted on by us. All right. Well, maybe in the minutes you could just put. I the, will. The I'll board recommends the recommendation of the. So if we did the rain day, we I would bump the. Last minute, so recommendation for the reinstating the rain day. Okay, yeah, so that, and we would bump it up another week or so. I think if we had it because this was close to Easter, this one it I was, felt. it was because it was St. Patrick's Day was the following, right? Day, right, right. 16th, and we done it on the 16th, right? It would have been, it was a beautiful day, yeah, and that's when we normally would have had it. But I think because it was St. I don't know why, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was to that date, but anyway, okay, I think we're all in agreement. Right, good, just do it the way we have been doing it before. All right. Um, any other comments about the Easter icon? Okay. So number three, the fourth of July event planning. I have that on the agenda because I was not sure if we were going to have an event coordinator. So I don't know okay. what's taking place so far, but I guess we can maybe get volunteers established if anybody I'm available to volunteer. Okay. Yeah. I would also and I to you. Okay. Pref I mean, you are too. If I had my and I am too. druthers, I like uh, doing the judging. Um, I did that what two years, but if somebody else wants to do it, that's fine too. I'm just not as familiar with the staging area. Well, I think last year was was pretty good. We don't know how they're going to do it again this year. It's going to be mostly volunteers. We were going back and forth about that. Maybe we. The day before, well, because it's on a Thursday this year, um, but we would come and set everything else up. There's still some speculation on how how it's going. We set things up the night before, or the day before, mm -hmm. and then come back the next day or whenever and clean everything up. I don't know how they want to work it. They were pushing for this volunteer thing to do everything, so I don't know how that's going to work. What do we have to set up the day before? Well, like like all the tables. Okay. Barricades. Okay. Um, the area signs over at that little giant. Okay. Just little stuff oh, like that. Was this? Did the staging get confusing last year? Do I recall yes. that? Yes. It was like okay. Did you think you were there? Yes. And I think there were problems with the numbers. People didn't always go in their number spaces, and more so that there was only like one parking spot size per number, and some people had. Bigger float, right? Trailer. Like had a truck and a trailer, or things that took up more than just one parking space, and then there was not necessarily space for anybody for the person who was supposed to be behind them. I'm not sure if anybody who wasn't actually in the staging area had any idea of it, how chaotic it ended up being. It, it's always been chaotic. Him. He would be the perfect. If Bill was here, he'd be the, he was always there. So he would <laughs> yeah. tell you how how much, um, because. Honestly, people don't pay attention to their numbers, and they just park. That they'll get there early. Sounds we'll park here. I think there's also one floor arrived that was not registered, and I think there was some talk yeah. about really having to crack down yeah. on people who are not registered because they yeah, take they up over the last minute. Hey, can we? Right. I mean, you don't want to discourage people in the community from participating. No, but there's but... there is a time of, of, of order that you have to right. establish, and it's hey, sorry, everyone else had to follow the same procedure. Is there a fee for being in the parade? I don't think so. No, mm -hmm. you just register. Yeah, but there is if you participate in the float contest, which I assume we're doing again this year. I would assume that and I every year. Assume there'll be prizes. I would assume as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause, uh, yeah. Because we um we had some good floats last year. They were in the paper. Uh -huh. Some of the um, like live music, like a band. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. I guess. 
I mean, I guess is now the time that Shell would typically reach out. But if we're having the coordinator, I, I think we still May at time. Yeah, I think it's like May or May. So yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, and are they still doing the halfway watering? Do we do that? I don't know any of the plants. No, Jeff, I don't know any plants that have been made out. It's the only site. It would probably be the same as it was last year. When I had change any of the logistics of where everything was, except you know, I mean, we have a problem every year. We always try to <laughs> somewhere along the lines will be this problem, and it's always going to occur. Yeah, yeah, sure. You, know, you can only do so much, and once sure. you change one thing that people are accommodated to for so long, yeah, it creates chaos. Sure, and it takes them about another. It's like a two or three year cycle before they start flowing. Oh, this is how we go. Sure. And if you change it again, it's, 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 it, yeah. it's chaos again. Sure. So. Okay. Well, that's the only event really. Once once the uh, event coordinator starts, that's really the only event mm -hmm. that is scheduled, yeah. and then the fall festivals after that. Right, and then the Santa House. Then the Santa yeah. House, which Santa House is not automatic these days, but um, but oh, the yeah, fall festival. You know, that's the other thing with the fall festival. We have to decide if we want a rain date uh, or not. But I, I, I would. I'm a fan of the rain dates personally. I just think it's like you know, what's the disadvantage to doing a rain date? Well, for the fall festival is when we book those vendors, right? Sure. Um, it, you you can go from having let's say twenty five thirty vendors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to like fifteen food trucks. I was just going to say you yeah. can go from having two to none mm -hmm. uh, because you know they're scheduled. They're booked way. They're, they're booked in advance. So if ABC Township has an event the following weekend, they we lost them. Yeah. So that's that's the only. But don't we still have like the bounce house? So we still have like the. The pumpkins. Well, like, again, you have to reserve it, and then you have to reserve it again. Okay. So it's okay. it's like you just can't say right. give it to you're sure. gonna pay for two weekends up front. You know, okay. so it's it's and the petting zoo. There's a lot. Yeah, I, I get think it. Just things, it might be just too hard to keep everybody booked for two weeks. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that was the biggest problem. Why it never was. It either went off or that it didn't. Makes sense. I mean, we should. We've been pretty fortunate with that. Yeah, because it's always it's always going off with the exception of. The 300. In, in hindsight, in oh. hindsight, all of us should have recommended to do a rain date for the 300th anniversary. Okay. But Here's the funny thing. It was changed because it was always the third week in September. Uh, last year, it was the fourth week or something like that because it was five weeks in September, I believe. Oh, uh, okay. Again, the week before was beautiful. And it was just raining. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, but Saturday. For the regular fall festival, I don't know if it's worth the effort or the money. So. Yeah, I didn't. That makes more sense than having, than not having a rain date for like Easter egg hunt because it's more in house. So it's easier to just kind of bump the date. Yeah, you're not hiring anybody. Correct. You're not hiring no, anybody. That makes, that makes sense. Santa House. Well, there's no rain date for the Santa then House. We, we, when, we scheduled, when we scheduled a car show. Yeah. Was there a car show last year? Yeah. Is it? We had uh, actually. I think we had like, well, it, it got canceled, but I think we had 25, 30 cars. No. Yeah. It was actually what a, the what setup. Way with the flea market. Yep. The setup for last year, the setup was probably the best setup and the most money up front that we've ever collected. Now, did they get the money back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The only thing with, with the car show is, too, is they're, they're very, it's like you'll get a number of people to show up, but then. There's people that want to come the last minute they're yeah. not going to bring it out if the weather's foul. Sure. If there's a chance. Yeah, sure. So they'll just call each other up. I mean, definitely the Easter egg hunt, that's we could work on a rain date. Because that's really that's that's all of us. Mm -hmm. We get the eggs donated. We'll just put that in as we make so, a recommendation for what do they win for the car show? Is it is it a trophy? Oh, a little trophy like uh but it's not dated. No, it's so we could participation, use, participation trophy. Participation trophy. Okay. It's like they just they do it just for the fun of it. Sure. Yeah. We give them these, I think these little trophies and best, best, but, you know, paint job or yeah. best, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a matter of pride. And, you know, we have to do it.
other people seeing how hard they work on their basic cards, etc. So that's mm. that. Anything else for the 4th of July? I guess we'll yeah. gain more momentum in May. Yeah, uh, that's actually probably the only thing we really, right now, the only thing we really have on the agenda for May. Um, that okay. was going to be a while ago. Do we want to have the May meeting still? Especially, well, if she's working, we probably should, right? If we have our new event coordinator, she's coming to the things that we can work on in sure. July and get things yeah. away. And um, I would imagine she would come to the meetings. I I'm not sure. I mean, at least the first one, it would be helpful. Well, uh, the previous the previous event. event coordinator came to Veterans Committee and Parks and Rec. Yeah. And spe specifically before the fall festival for the Veterans Committee, um, they would attend, we'd have our, you know, two or three meetings. She would always be there. Yeah. Planning her, the event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Will there be an announcement when the event coordinator starts? I mean, something on Twitter account or? I would say it would probably be posted media. on the website. Positive would be, yeah, and usually they do it. I think they do usually do a general email to all the board members. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that would be up to, to the manager John to pass the word. But Twitter, Facebook, uh, an internal email would be nice. Well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I would if agree. she starts, I can. Notify this committee. Yeah, yeah. I, I will uh, that would be give you an official date of when when I find out. So I mean, the minute of, the minute of, the minute of the day. Make her send the email. She's not even gonna get the key fob on the door. And email. Like, okay, ready? Uh, okay. Sue is a really nice person. She did quite a bit of uh, helping us, you know, raise money for the uh, for bingo. For the fall festival. You still do the bingo? Mm -hmm. okay. We didn't do it this year because a uh, change of staff. Okay. There's been, you know, the staff kind of like a staff. Okay. So we kind of canceled this year's. Okay. But uh, when's it usually? It's usually in May. May. Okay. All right. Any other comments for July? This year, we're just, or just so you know, this year, what we're going to be trying to do is this is. Outside of the township, but we're going to try to do a telethon to help organizations that support veterans, like uh, Shamrock Range. It's a mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a horse riding farm. Nice. And the lady is is does all this on her own, and basically, you know, veterans with PTSD and first responder PTSD, they go ride horses and pet horses and all that. So we're going to do we're going to try to do like a fundraiser for her. Oh, nice. Uh, to help her out. Is she is she local? Yeah, right in Plumstead Township. Um, nice. But 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 once we officially, you know, get everything done, I'll pass it to all the boards. If you guys want to participate yeah. and help, and yeah, it's a good business. cause. And uh, the VFW is really involved in it, which the great great group of guys and gals. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, moving on to number four, other business. Does anybody have any other business? I'm just going to bring up the meeting, but what's the status of our uh, letter on the on the um, junior members and the? Um... I sent the memo. I, I sent it. You all, you all read it. I sent it. Um, I know they received it. I have. I know they do not have. They have canceled the. They were supposed to have a meeting this Monday, but since they're at the in Harrisburg or Hershey, Harrisburg, Hershey, uh -huh. um, Hershey. Hershey, so they didn't have a meeting. So I'm hoping it's on okay. Mace. All right. It's I right. talked to Alex, who was make sure that she did receive it. I said, you did see the most she yeah. I said, okay. Okay, good. So that's as far as I can take it. I don't think it was sent. So okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, any other business? No? Uh, I do. Easter Sunday, West Branks Park organized leagues again from outside the township. I'm glad you brought that up because I almost forgot. Um, that has been remedied. Okay. It okay. has been remedied because I got an official 
a complaint from one of the coaches who does the four to eight U at um, West Branch, because that's the little kids are playing there. And she drove now they hadn't started yet, she had driven by. And so now I have an official complaint from a permit holder. I was able to contact um, Chief. He had uh, Corporal Duncan go over, spoke to the, one of the referees, and they cleaned everything up. No argument or nothing, just and left. So that's, that should not be an issue. Yeah, because I got two phone calls, and actually I went over there and drive. To, I don't know why they called me. It's like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> right. But well, just call the police. But you see, the thing is, I really can't do a whole lot until a permitted user. Because I mean, they were playing. Now they were playing multiple games. So from what yeah. I was, we drove. Playing. I drove by on Easter because right. I was heading down. What is this? These foreign leagues from uh, I don't know where they're from. Well, the actually, Lions they had some of the places: Delaware, Georgetown, Allentown. I think there's one from Wilkesboro. And and oh Delaware, goodness. yeah. Yeah, and so it's not just. And they don't have permits. They don't pull permits. We require residents to pull permits. They yeah. come in, and these these are like adult soccer teams. And they really do a number on the fields, which is what it's for. But still, if you're not paying for it. No. Um, right. So, um, yeah, so that was able to be handled. Yeah, and then I drove by. I saw them. It was, it was big. It was a lot of people. Yeah. Good. It was a lot. Good. What, um, what again, if you get a permit, you know, you get a permit. That's what we suggest. That's what we said. Now, it's different. I said, you know, if there's 15 kids playing ball, right. you know, it's different. But... Anyway, this is we we the protocol was it worked out well because she made the complaint so or she questioned me about it I I directed it right to the chief and they took care of it okay so. good good because we had that problem about ten years ago and it got out right. of hand whatever happened with um the proposal to to turf it was that I don't know whatever I think that just just that, I didn't hear anything yes. else about it. They went to go to the board of supervisors, yeah, and they were going back and forth, and then it fizzled. I, I yeah, I didn't know if it was. It. So, oh, did you hear anything? Anybody? I here? haven't. No, I didn't they, know what happened. This, to it, it was the solicitors were looking at it. I've seen it. Right. It just got. It was going to be a a, a nightmare. The yeah. legality or logistics of well, you know, you're mixing again private funds with public with public. You know, and it's, it's it's a big no no, right? Yeah. And, Huh. Law, right? right. Yeah. yeah, I've seen it here, but he hasn't mentioned it. Yeah. It's a great idea, but just complicated. Sure. Why? Not when you want to own the rights of the field. Right. It's basically what they were saying. Sure. Right. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, this might be a long shot, but Cotton Park, any, anything? I haven't heard anything. LOL. Yeah. You might, there has been maybe trying to start walking trails through there. At least okay. it's something. At least it's something. But that's yeah. just like I said, we're we're going on the capital plan. That's something. Is it yeah. on the that's so, is it on the capital plan? No. It's not on the capital no. plan. No. How we're, far does the capital plan go out already? Right now, I think it's 2028. 20, yeah. Four years. So and well, it's hard to say because we just had a meeting. There's four of us, me, Ryan, Alex, and uh Kristen our new uh Finance director okay. trying to get everything in order because the three people that put it help put it together are no longer here. So it's very hard to find out where she had questions where we where this money was, was supposed to be here and how it moves from. It. So now, um, as we get a new township manager, we're going to have to try and go through this again. So mm. hopefully. We can get moving forward. Yeah, I mean, it, it'll get back in order. But if there are any time you guys have ideas that you want to see on the capital plan at, at any of our meetings, or there, just bring them up. I'll write them down, put them in a minute, and, and see what they get, yeah. and get when we have the meetings. Like I said, I've been to two so far. Yeah. Because this thing is all kind of, I know what we're doing this year. So, and hopefully, what we do next year. Is the capital plan publicized like have, has it been released I just saying so. here this is the direction the township right now it, it is isn't is, yeah the capital plan but it's it's i know we just had we're supposed to survey this part for the pavilion playground and the 
walking trail across the street. Okay. So, because that's... And were the, were the courts done? Not yet. They yeah. are. We have all the equipment. They're getting but done this year. But that was paid for? They're getting done this year. Yeah, that's, that's going to be paid in the house. Yeah. And then we already have the uh, um, invoice for the ceiling over top. Okay. So that's all scheduled this year and a walking trail scheduled for this okay. year. So, no, one, one thing is, is, is you look at other townships, you got to remember that we're New Britain Township it's is tiny. twelve thousand. Yeah, twelve thousand people. That's small. It, yeah, it, we, there's a lot of land because it's a it's a it's land owned township, right? Sure. Peace Valley part of that. But you're like, I think Montgomery Montgomery or Horsham, they're like ninety thousand. Yeah, yeah. And sure. look at the size of their business district. Too. Yeah, and their business district like mm -hmm. Montgomery Township, Horsham, a lot of corporate businesses there. So. To do a lot of things, it requires money, and sometimes you know you don't you don't have the tax base to do it. Well, I know. I think it was Quaker Town, Horsham. A lot of those, like their their premier, when we were playing football, like their, their football field, a nice concession stand, had lights and everything. A lot of development surrounding that entire field because they go and to the land developer the, with the builders. Okay, well, you're going to do that, but you're going to build this concession stand. You're going to grade this field for mm -hmm. us now. You're going to do so. Sure. They would incorporate a little bit of. Yeah. I mean, for what, for, for, for the money coming in, I mean, I think they do a really good job. Uh, you know, there was a few things that needed to be taken care of, and I think they did. One was that playground that, that needed to be taken was, care of. But it, that's the thing, it's, it's, it's like it was. Don, I kept putting in, hey, hey, it's starting to deteriorate, it's starting to mm -hmm. deteriorate. The one at Highlands is going to be the next one on the capital plan because that's getting up. So the amount of room we have over at that area, I said, imagine the size of the playground we could put in there. I said, because now we have townhomes going up in Lakeland and we have townhomes going up right next to Sakola. I go through the Highlands all the time just to cut through. Yeah. Um, it's used every time yes. I go by. There is always somebody on that playground. And the, the quarter mile track or whatever it is, and they just added and, and the the courts, the basketball. Yeah, they're they're actually scheduled. Yeah, it's always used, they're especially now. Field. It'd be nice to see that really um, redone. Well, the open field there. Yeah, because that is a usable field. Sure. I actually had um, the one day my mom who lives in Little Farms had a problem with her roof leaking, so I called a friend. He gave me recommendation, a friend of a friend, you know. So. Um, I had them there, and I said, hey, I said, you got like 10 minutes? Yeah, I said, let's go over to Highlands Park. I want you to look at the roof of the pavilion, see if you could do that. Give me an estimate. I haven't gotten an estimate back from them yet. It's Summit Roofing, I think it is. Okay. Um, who did it? Who, and he looked at it, measured everything, because that's all tongue and groove. It's not your traditional A-frame, you know. Okay. Uh, uh, it's like expand eight feet with the weight ratio and now we're talking that it probably should be done by a contractor just to have the, the proper permits and have all the because it is a roof and it's a total reconstruction it's not just restraining okay so i mean that's that's the kind of lies that's like it would be nice to have that and i have a nice big giant playground just flow right in out of that into yeah that, that playground is always used. yeah always yeah Plus, there are all those townhouses they're at. Yeah, they're gonna come because the open field is nice because people can. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Take your take your dog over there and play frisbee over there. I have kids. I have kids. Yeah. The game. There's actually, um, you know, people ran out the pavilion using the yeah. open field. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, the one lady just had a. She called and asked. There was a actually a party company that would come set up. Mm -hmm. And she goes, can they come? I said, yeah, as long as they're not. I said, you're paying to come over there. Yeah. And I said, here's the thing. I said, we don't want to see it. On Monday morning, right? She, no, they come in, they, they set it up, and they. I said, the license insured. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, but it, so that I really would like to see stay there. Mm -hmm. Um, because I think we have flag football uses it sometimes too, and the little kids soccer use it. And who who owns between Butler and New Britain Walk? That that's funny because I think it is township property. That is maintained by either the New Britain Walk or Butler. I don't know who mows it, maintains it, but when there's an issue there, we have to take care of it. <laughs> like when there's if there's a trash layout, like we do the mutton mitt service in there. I don't know how that whole thing went down because New Britain Walk is a homeowners association, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we're responsible for three roads in there to salt the plow. 
New Britain? Where is New Britain? Well, there's a roads aren't dedicated to the township. Well, there's three of them inside yeah. there yeah. that, that surround it. You know, um, New Britain Walk is in back of the highlands. Next to Butler. It's uh, okay. It's an upper uh, state uh, schoolhouse. Okay. That, that tall development, they all have those nice front porches and the garage. Yes, yes, yes. It looks I like Colin Rockwell painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very true. Really pretty development, actually. Um, so the field between, if this is the development, right. Butler's over here, there's a little small field right here. I know right. Fine One uses it a lot for uh, when they have their uh, Olympic day or whatever their day they call it. It was used to, that was Olympic day. Field day I, or something, yeah. Field day. That's what I... All right, it's just a question. Okay. Any other comments? Here. Other business? Okay. Uh, number five, public comment. Who's in that cage? What? <laughs> what? It looks like um instruments, so like what? musical instruments. Voting machines. The voting machines. Oh, yeah. is it? Oh, that's right. The elections are yeah. next week. They canceled our uh, planning commission meeting. That's right. The elections are... So this is a polling. This is a polling place. Yeah, this is a polling place. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I did my mail on ballot so long. Ago. I did my mail on ballot. I don't even remember that. Yeah, I don't know. Happened. Happened to it. I remember those big, huge, heavy books that we had to write in and carry for the election. Ugh. They're so easy. They're easier now. Yeah, I thought it. I worked right. it all. Voter registration, board of election, and you were everywhere. And you did our taxes. I remember John's <laughs> always running his taxes over to you. I was like, don't be yeah. wrong, but she's so nice. And I worked at the polls for like 30 years. Oh my gosh. Wow. Done. Oh, all right. All right. So adjournment. Can I motion uh, to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Aye. A second. Aye. Aye. Second. All in all. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Okay. Motion carries. Uh, meeting has ended. Thank, Thank you. you. Quick move. Quick. Well, that's quick. Meetings. Oh, I know. Hmm. We on? What's that? We on or we, are we on? That's a fact. This not You're ready. <laughs> Out. Yeah, I know. Well, last time you did that, you went on a forbidden site. <laughs>